Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. It's hot. Stupid hot, actually. Well, let me get somewhere quiet. It is just way too loud in here. Anyway, like I was saying, thanks for uh, stopping back in at the channel. It's really, really hot. So I went and checked the seven day forecast Thursday or Friday, which today is Sunday. Uh, and they said the lowest temp, lowest high, how am I gonna say this? The lowest high for this next week was next Friday, which is 100 degrees. So it's supposed to be stupid hot this next week, which is why I'm not showing you any of the birds. Um, we've been taking ice bottles out to the rabbits, which they've had a really rough go. That's been a problem. Uh, trying to keep the chickens cool, make sure everything's has water. Not, just not bug them very much. Anyway, this is the last bit of the auction footage I had. I missed a ton of prizes. I do have about half of them. So uh, sorry about that. I did the best I could. I'm not sure if I was talking to people or putting away stuff that I bought. One way or another, I missed a bunch of prices. So um, hope you guys enjoy it. There's also some stuff that I normally don't put into it, uh, like the stuff from the back and whatnot. So hope you guys enjoy the you know the video and uh, let's get into it. Like a khaki drake and a peeking female. Well, they could both be drakes. I don't know. Probably both drakes. More ruse. Looks like we got a crossbred. He's got some feathered feet. Don't know what he is. Rooster, I gotcha. Looks like some khaki or khaki cross. A little buck bunny. Oh, sorry, bread dough. I'm getting all my words messed around. I was reading off this one. Buck, bread dough, you know. Good looking pullets, big birds. Good looking birds though. We've got some more. Now this is the way, if you want to sell birds, this is a good way to do it. See how they divide them up by color? That's a good, 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 good marketing there. A lot of people do want one or so of each color, but more often people want all of one color. At least here at the auction. Bargoos. Mixed lot. Got some pretty looking blues in there though. Some Toulouse. Pretty birds. Bunch more roosters. Some pheasants. I imagine they're melanistic, but it doesn't say. More again. What's the red golden? Is it some golden? Doesn't say. More quail. A guinea. Roosters. Look at the size of these runts. Dude, you're a tanky boy. I don't know too much about runts, but they are a huge pigeon. Got some little guineas. What are you? You're cool looking. Got quail. Uh, eggs. Guineas and more guineas. Some white hens. White leggings. Probably either apple probably apple yards. That's my guess anyway. Some more probably red sex link and some other stuff in there. More quail. Looks like Muscovies, probably. Hey, bud. Yeah, they're actually pretty, pretty chill for Muscovies. Roosters. Hens. Bunch of eggs. Bunch more hens. Flower baskets, bunch of petunias. Bunch of onions, beets, all that. I don't know about you guys, I love beets. 
so I might I might have to take some of those home if I can get over in time. Red potatoes, tomatoes, big old zucchini, more beets and cabbage, and beans and cucumbers, and maybe wax bananas. I'm not sure. Not to stop. You never know what you can find. I mean, a lot more. This thing's practically new. I forget. I think it said they have like 60 hours on it, something like that. You never know what you're buying here. Now, the reason... Hey, there we go. You can see me now. Uh, the reason I've been so far behind on my videos and stuff, we're opening up a second location. or working on opening up a second location uh, here at the butcher shop. So there's a town about 45 minutes away. We have a spot picked out and everything. Um, I'm overlaying a bunch of footage of us moving some coolers and freezers in. It's taking up a lot of time and so that's why there's been a lot of hunts from last year and just not a lot of prep and stuff and I'm, I've been suffering so thank you guys so much for watching if you've been keeping up and sorry it will get better I just have a lot of you know the butcher shop kind of pays the bills so I gotta keep that going so anyway back in the video ducklings you say they're Saxonies ginger reds I'm really curious what they go for. Black copper moran. Cornish cross. These are meat birds. If you want to raise birds for meat, that's your breed right there. Eight, nine weeks, ready to butcher. Some of the older stuff. Polish. Some chicks. Looks like more barred rock chicks, maybe. And. I don't always get to fill in the back, but uh, you never know what you're gonna find. Everything from a fire pit, which has a drop-in cooking grate already on it. That's kind of nice. Cool. Chairs, tubs, wheels. That'd be kind of nice, a little plinker. I don't mind that. Some of those sandbox turtles. A bike. Don't hardly ever get back here for prices, so. Uh, you guys are gonna have to live without that, but you never know what there's gonna be. On the other hand, if there's something that I just have to have, there might be a gap in the prices on the other side of the sale. So, hmm. Man. these were here last time. Those things are expensive to make. I can't can't help but be. That is a big old pigeon trap. Wouldn't mind having that. Wouldn't take much to doctor that thing up. Cages, truck box. Be kind of nice. The ducks would love that. Pond. Oh, that's tempting. Yeah, chicken tractor. Although I know that I don't need it, it would be nice to have a mobile pen for some of the stuff. Still gonna go for way more than I wanna give for it, but whatever, we'll see. Here on row eight, we got a silky. And a young rooster it looks like. Back into the dwarves and hollow locks. Bunch more. I don't know if they're crosses or what they are. Now, this here says they're young old English blues. The comb tells me that those are rose cones and not old English. Am I wrong? Because I'm pretty sure that old English have a straight comb and not a rose comb. So, anyway, my thoughts. More dwarves. Young pigeons. Got some pretty ones in there. Old English. That's like the BB Reds. Black breasted, black breasted Reds. Got some melanistic pheasants. We got turkeys. 
Tom and a couple of hens. I'm not sure if that's a royal palm or if that's a crossbreed of some sort, but there's some bronzes other than that. More roosters. Then here, we got a bunch of silkies. Ah, silkies. Got some poachers, some frizzle in there. Blue Plymouth Rocks, Silkies, Coachings. Yeah. These people bring a lot of different birds. They have a pretty, pretty cool looking hatchery. Well, Summer Roosters, Turkins. Cool looking Coachings, Turkins. As ugly as they are, I still like them. I think they're cool. Some showgirls. Now these actually think they're hideous though. <laughs> I mean, come on. What about that is just... No. No. That is, that is hideous. <laughs> and then a bunch of chicks. It's like some farrowing crates. I brought you a hundred ducks. I'm not sure. Uh, what kind of pen it's for, but... Huh. Lang box. Swamp cooler. There's just lots of stuff. Got an American fantail. And looks like there's some giant homers or runs or kings. More hens. Some scoobies. Looks like some khakis. Delawares. Baskets and egg cartons and some little ducks. Some chicks. And a rooster. Alright, well, that does it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around. I know it is far from one of my best. Um, I will try and do better. It's just been with the heat and the butcher shop and all the things that have been going on. It's been a struggle. I appreciate you guys, though. I really, really do. So, anyway. Thanks for everything. Um, whether you guys like the video or not, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. I really do.